youtube.com, Jamestown, California. I'm in my car. It's Friday night. I'm about to go inside here. So I want to talk really quick about Rush Limbo's show that Dan Bongino's taken over since Rush passed away. And I had an idea to keep that show going, um, but I never revealed that idea. And what's going to happen is Dan's going to end up taking over the show, doing the show for as long as he's going to do it. And then the Rush Limbo show is going to be technically gone forever. And the idea that I had was for multiple producers to use that air time to talk about what's happening within the Republican Party versus talking about what happened yesterday in the Republican Party. Dan Bongino, I have nothing against the man or his show, but to have former President Trump on there with all that's happening today, I think that I want to say real quick that Fox News this week was, I don't know if it was poorly managed or if someone just kind of took over the position of who's in charge of the information, but it was very disappointing, the everything besides Fox News Night information. It was just absolutely the wrong direction and because I just don't care anymore. I removed all my videos of the news that I had produced from the last two weeks. And in those productions answered a lot of questions with what President Biden said today when he was alongside the South Korean president. The press did not fully cover the former president's moves, in my opinion, regarding North Korea. And what this takes going to talk about is we're in the exact position as we were 20, 21 years ago by the media being taken over by this force, I call it, the Ted Cruz's, the within the Republican Party. They go and they yell and they scream. They try to influence. They have one opinion one day and then the other day. They're only loyal to one entity. It's not loyal to their job position. And what's happening is you guys have not only scared all the talent away from journalism. Because this week, I'm at the point where I don't want to say that I'm quitting journalism. But there's nothing in Fox News this week that I saw that journalism is going to get any better. Everybody's goofing around. Everybody's giving their opinions. And everybody's always one-sided. I want to talk about myself real quick and the quality of news that I received this week by working hard to get it. And today I watched The Five and I was really just absolutely in shock with the information and the poor quality of opinion on those producers four out of the five and they got it they're getting the information all wrong completely it's the complete opposite of what's happening so rather than fight against it or fight the people that are don't like me or don't like me anymore or anyways I'm just rather you guys set the stage for what I know the news is about to happen. What that means is because of the poor quality of news and the direction of the news this week, I know what's about to happen. I know what's coming next. 
and I think it'll be in a situation about from six to 12 months where we're going to go through what we've already gone through because I know how the news works. It's a very horrible situation. It's hideous today that what I listened to on the five, it was just horrible. I just can't understand how a network could allow that show being on for one hour daily. Almost ruined my day. Almost ruined my night. I had to salvage the night by reinstoring positive energy at the 8 o'clock mark. That show literally hurt me today by the information it gave. It brain hurt me today. And I slept and my whole hours were changed. It's kind of funny. The only thing I find interesting in covering the news, I know this sounds funny. I know I'm one of the people on Fox News Night that every day I let you know that I'm participating or I'm tuning into the show. I find importance for Shannon Bream and Fox News Night. I feel covering Shannon Bream's important. I might be the only person covering Shannon Bream by daily paying attention and focusing on the news she's producing versus what other people are producing and then seeing how people react. It's kind of funny because I just think it's one thing that I've been doing this year that there's absolutely nothing that's inspirational or motivational on that network other than Shannon Bream. And it's funny because I don't think you guys in the network give her enough credit. I don't think you guys give her enough money. And the slot you guys gave Fox News Night, I think it's embarrassing that your network would put gut filled at 8 o'clock. And it's funny because I just can't stand the five show all things the five and I don't know what's worse Dana Perino's appearance in the morning or Dana Perino's opinions on the five daily it was kind of a breath of fresh air at least the five was the four and there was one opinion that I didn't have to hear today and it's funny because the voice in the morning reminds me of my ex. La, 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 la. So when I'm listening in the morning, when I'm waking up, I just go back to sleep and I hear it on the TV. La, la, la. It's kind of, it's funny. To me, it's funny. So I'm waiting for Operation Retaliation on the five for my comments today on, I believe it was Johnny Dollar. It might have been Cable News Watch that Waters World and the other show, Kennedy Nation. Just two hours of a waste of time to watch the news. A lot of shows on Fox, it's just an hour of just a waste of time. And I don't know who's watching Fox News because wasting time, I don't know if you like wasting time for an hour, but the quality of news that the news is given, and I'm not talking about CNN or MSNBC or ABC, NBC, CBS. I personally know the directions of each network where they're going and the quality of news that they're producing. But this take is about Fox News because Fox is supposedly the only other news that's an alternative and it's becoming just a drag, making me not want to do journalism anymore, just quit, or not quit, but just do something else, 
the way I get these words and my key words just taken like useless. I used useless on Sunday for my Depeche Mode song, but I did use that word knowing it would be repeated on the airwaves. I just didn't know how much it was going to be repeated. And I heard it all day. The word useless. Talking about Liz Cheney. Whoever you want to talk about. Using keywords like lexicon. I know you guys have read my old book. But what I'm trying to figure out is. How come I'm not getting the money that I was supposed to get. From the book that a lot of people have read. That I still need edits. That's not the final version. The final version is in my computer. And because nobody helped me with that project. And it cost me a lot of money to continue to produce. Copyright that project. The state of the union in our democracy. How the two parties have failed. I just didn't finish the project and left it as is because the quality of news during 2006 was different than the quality of news in 2021 even by the counterparts it was a lot better in 2006 in fact In 2006, the quality of news was very good. In fact, everything with the internet and the sharing information was absolutely perfect. So the direction that I want to go is move to fiction. I will get around to getting that final version out. But times have changed. And... I want to do something different than news. I think what Fox News did to me this week was just discourage me to want to continue working in that field. I'm happy with what I'm doing, but it's not something I want to continue for 15 or 20 years. Although I could probably do this kind of work up till retirement. I want to go and talk about the last thing I want to talk about here is sports and basketball and basketball seems that their ratings have been just destroyed. And I just find it kind of ironic that the politics have hurt ratings in sports to the point where People are not watching basketball. And I want to know what's basketball going to do about this. And I'm going to leave the take right there. YouTube.com, Jamestown, California.